so when all the segments are on the eight digit digit eight is formed so you know when you want to display the digit eight you have to turn on all the leds if only the center segment is off it will represent zero so we can easily find for what is the for what all numbers how many what is the minimum number of leds to be cloned for eight is the numeric if you want to display eight you have to turn on all the leds and if you one level below that if you don't want to turn on the middle led g the digit with led will be off and it represents the digit zero so eight i need seven leds to be turned on for zero i need six leds to be turned on so common anode and common cathode connections are shown i have explained you what is common anode and common cathode so uh, when you compare these two things, common anode type LEDs require an active low configuration. The active low means for activating the LED, for activating the LED, you have to give low input. Low input means you should not give any input. You have to ground the LED. You have to ground the anode. Whereas active high input is required for common cathode type. See, uh, in first case, I'm connecting common anode. I'm connecting all the anode to ground, right? So for anode, I should not give anything. I should give only uh, supply to my cathode. So when I'm doing common cathode, I will be giving supply to the cathode only. But here you see the switches will be there in the cathode. So switches, when they are uh, present switches, which they are uh, near to which terminal, that is going to be common anode or common cathode. There is no difference uh, whether you are going to keep the switch near the anode or near the cathode because the circuit is going to be anyways uh, open. Okay, But in the configuration uh, fabrication will be easy if you are keeping the switch for all the things near the anode or for all the things near the cathode. Okay, That is what is shown here. And the seven segment displays are used everywhere, almost in every application, digital clocks in calculators, in microwave ovens for displaying the temperature and displaying the time for digital multimeters. You have this multimeter as an equipment in lab which is used to check the voltage, current, resistance values. So it will have a display, seven segment display. And microprocessor training kits you will have in stereo tuners, you will have another way of producing a LED display is the dot matrix type. So two methods we have seen, right? One is seven segment display and the second one is dot matrix type. So seven segment display is what we have seen. And dot matrix type is you will have a matrix like arrangement. Okay. So you can see here a simple five cross seven matrix. It will have uh, five columns and seven rows. Okay. Seven, five columns and seven rows. Okay. Five cross seven dot matrix. So the commonly used dot matrix displays are five cross seven. 7 cross 8, 5 cross 8, 7 cross 9, etc., which can display 64 different characters, including alphabets and numerals. So 26 alphabets are there, and 10 numerals are there. 26 plus uh, 10, 36. Apart from the traditional, it can display 28 different symbols. It can be alpha, theta, special Greek symbols sometimes can be displayed. It can display characters like comma, semicolon. Those also can be so you are the matrix type you have rows and columns right so you have to if you want to turn on a particular led you have to see what is the corresponding row and column you have to activate so you have to drive the appropriate horizontal and vertical inputs so if i cross seven led matrix is shown here and the corresponding wiring is shown so light emitting region is going to be very very small so you see usually in matrix you will have a number of rows you will represent the matrix by a cross b so A cross B means the matrix will have A rows and B columns. Right here it is somewhat different. So first you will write the columns and then you will write the rows. So 5 cross 7 means you will have 5 columns and 7 rows. Please understand it that way. And for displaying the letter 2. See in the uh, 7 segment display, the uh, display 2 is very rigid. But here you have the flexibility. Here you can have the usual representation for the letter 2. So because you have more number of uh, LEDs are in the form of a matrix so that you can have a good display of the letter 2. So you can see here for displaying the letter 2, what are how many LEDs you have to activate? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So out of 35 LEDs you have, you have to activate 15 LEDs. And each LED will have a number. So this is first row second column so this led will be uh, second column right so it is two cross one so this led first uh, led is two cross two cross one second row first uh, second column first row 
this led is third column first row fourth column first row first column second row fifth column second row so in that way you can identify what all leds you have to activate if you want to display the letter 2 so for that if you want to display the letter 2 you can easily identify from the matrix what leds you have to glow the connection you see between uh, the horizontal and vertical wiring you have the leds between the horizontal and vertical connection okay so you can uh, definitely turn on and turn off whatever uh, led you want according to your requirement so if you want to if you want to uh, uh, turn on this led if you want to turn on this led means this switch will be closed and this switch will be closed while well, all the remaining switches will be open so that this led alone will be forward by us and it starts emitting light so accordingly if you want uh, in the display letter 2 you can see 15 leds are going to be turned on right the corresponding the 15 uh, leds corresponding connections alone can be turned on while all other inputs can be turned off so if you program it that way you can easily display the letter 2 or any other display you can do it when you are going to uh, use the dot matrix display okay so these are the kind of various connections you are going to have between the horizontal and vertical wiring so as it is shown in the thing see here you have to drive the appropriate horizontal and vertical input so that the corresponding led glows and the dotmatic display is going to be displaying the required number of characters so be very clear on that uh, seven segment display is very simple you have only seven leds and you can, it will display only the numerals zero to nine but dot matrix display is one level ahead of that it can even display different characters up to 64 characters it can display but what character is being displayed depend on how which uh, led i'm going to drive with the corresponding current so that can be easily found out from this matrix arrangement okay so for you have to see for zero means what all leds you have to put you have to map the digit symbol you are going to display and uh, with LEDs, what you are going to use. So if you uh, draw this mapping correctly, then you can design the switching inputs to the switches in an exact way. That can be done. So now we are going to see about a photodiode. So the, so far we have seen about two types of displays. One is a seven segment display. And the uh, next one is going to be alphanumeric displays. We are not going to see how the current I'm going to provide. That is not in our syllabus and that is not in our scope also. We are just seeing how if you want to turn on a particular LED for displaying a digit, what uh, connections you are going to close it, which switch connections you are going to close it. For that only I told one example, Y1. If I want to turn on this LED, I'll be closing this Y1 and I'll be closing this X1. So that only this LED will be turned on, all other LEDs will be open. They will not glow. Only this LED will be forward by us and it will start emitting light. So same way I can see if I want to display the letter 2, what all LEDs I have to turn on. And accordingly, you can close those switches vertically and those switches horizontally. So that will beautifully display the letter 2 in your dot matrix display.